Hey guys, it is, let me turn the Christmas music down. It is Mike from Baltimore Rides here. Saturday, about 1.45, I'm starting my day. I'm down in Silver Spring, Laurel area. I have not gotten a ride request yet, but I'm online. And I'm about 600-ish bucks between Lyft and Uber for the week. So, you know, the math is actually pretty good. If I have a 200 plus dollar day today, um, and I have about a hundred dollar day tomorrow, and then I can make my quest goal. I should be right where I need to be to, um, you know, to end the week with my numbers that I need to make. And you know, I'm I'm going to be honest with you guys. The more I talk to you guys, and the more I text, and we have conversations kind of offline. Um, some of you guys are out there crushing it. I mean, some of you guys are having much bigger weeks than I am. And it's all based on perspective, it's based on how many hours you're working, where you're working. Um, you know, so I am so proud that some of you guys are out there just kicking butt. You know, it doesn't bother me at all. I was talking to, I think it was Alex the other day, and he was telling me how, you know, he has like, you know, 14, 15, 1600 dollars weeks. That's amazing. You know, I, I love it. I mean, if, if you can put those kind of numbers on the board, that is awesome. You should be teaching us stuff. So. You know, there's a lot of you guys that are really successful out there, and that's fine by me. I'm so happy for that. You know, I just want us all to get better together. And, um, you know, but really at the end of the day, guys, this is very much a kind of you against your bills is kind of really how this battle goes. How well or how poorly other people are doing or whether their goals are different than mine, none of that stuff really matters. You know, you should set your own individual goals based around your budget how much you want to work, um, you know, what kind of money you want to make for yourself, and, you know, maybe how how confident you are in yourself. If you are having a, you know, a moment of weakness and you're not feeling really strong, then don't set a ridiculously high goal. You know, if you're having a, you know, if you're feeling like you can conquer the world, like I felt, you know, yesterday, I set a goal for myself that was very aggressive. You know, 30 trips is, is a big day. Did I make it? No. But, you know, it's the push. It's not whether you make it or not, it's the push. You know, I had a great night. I finished at 200 plus dollars with 26 trips. That's a good night. You know, that I didn't make my goal is okay because I came close and I fought for it. Um, and if your goal is 10 trips in the amount of time you can drive, that's great. You know, if your goal is $100, so be it. Whatever the numbers are that you need, but set goals around your monthly budget. You know, if you wanna make so many X number of dollars, a month, let's say you want to make two thousand dollars a month, you know, and that's how much you want to make, then that's five hundred dollars a week, and then you break it down by the day. Okay, I need to make a hundred dollars a day, and I'll work five days. You know, just do the the easy math to kind of break it off into bite-sized pieces. A lot of you guys have heard me say this: um, How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And. You know, that's a funny analogy, but you think about an elephant as this gigantic monstrosity. How are you going to eat that? Well, you just got to do it a little bit at a time. And that's how you break down your monthly goals. That's how you break down your budget. That's how you do everything. You just have to break it down into bite-sized pieces that are manageable. You know, I know if I go into a week and I say, okay, I need to make $1,200. That's a scary-ass number. But if I say, okay, I need to make $150 tonight, 150 tomorrow and 200 on this day and 200 and then I'm there well that's a lot more manageable for me so just kind of know that you guys as you go into you know thinking about this stuff and I'm probably repeating things I've repeated so many times over the past you know whatever it is five six months but um, as we get new people joining us you know maybe this is new to somebody maybe they haven't gone back and watched older videos and they haven't heard me say this before but, um, you know, measuring and setting goals and planning is a big part of what we do. I was talking to a customer just the other night about that. You know, they were asking me about my numbers and my budget and how much I spend on expenses. And, you know, and I told him, I said, I spend approximately $150 a week in fuel. I spend approximately $50 a week in food. Um, and then I said, my insurance comes out to you know, for the ride-sharing vehicle, um, comes out to about $25 a week. So I'm spending $200 to $225 a week in expenses. Now, of those expenses, 
um, I'm able to deduct the majority of them. So they, it, it's money that comes out of my pay, but it's also money that at the end of the year, I'm not gonna owe Uncle Sam in taxes. So you have to look at that as kind of like the long game. Sometimes you gotta spend money to keep your money. Um, and that's, you know, that's where that having that tax software, having some record keeping software, whether it's QuickBooks or something else that allows you to itemize your expenses, keep track of your money, keep track of what's going out and what's coming in um, will really, really help you. So, you know, I'm just, I'm in a mindset today where I'm thinking about January. I'm thinking about, okay, what things do we need to do to start off the new year? This is my, you know, my learning year was, was 2017, but January, I really want to be able to set goals for myself that are, are stretch goals, that are me growing and not just doing the same thing over and over again, because that's how you get the same result. And if I don't start thinking about what those goals are going to look like and what kind of expectations I want to set for myself now, well then when January 1st rolls around, I won't be prepared. Um, and so that's, you know, that's something that I'm always thinking about, guys. I'm always thinking four to six weeks ahead of time, preparing, planning, thinking ahead, does it mean that I'm perfect about everything and I don't miss deadlines? Of course not. Um, you know, stuff happens in life and if you start planning early enough, then you're prepared. You're prepared for Christmas. You're prepared for something like what happened with my daughter. You know, you're prepared for events where you, you know, things get out of your control. You know, I would like to get out of debt. I have a couple, couple bills that I want to pay off in 2018 that I really wasn't able to this year. And, um, you know, it would make a significant difference on my monthly budget if I could get these two bills off my shoulder. So that's my goal. My goal in 2018 is to pay them off as quickly as I can. Um, and if that means I have to be a little bit tighter in my budget for, you know, the first couple months of the year to do it, um, I want to do that. And that's, you know, that's another goal for myself. So, you know, but that's how we think about this stuff as a self-employed person, which is what you are if you're driving for Uber or Lyft. Um, you know, how you, how you tackle that is really up to you. If you just go through life doing the minimum, you're gonna get a minimum result. So, um, you know, that's enough about kind of forward thinking. I know I kind of got a little bit long-winded there, but um, I plan on having a great day today, guys. The goal today has to be 30 trips. Um, it might be a late night, but um, it has to be 30 trips because I really do wanna, you know, hit the ground running and have a short day tomorrow. I would love that. I, I don't want to be on the road all day tomorrow. So if I can make that happen, that would be phenomenal. Um, I would love to do $250 tonight. And I honestly think Saturday is going to be bigger than Friday was because I think people are starting to trickle back into town. Um, and I think that's going to really help. So um, I will check in with you guys later on and let you know how I finish. Good luck, everybody that's on the road today. Be safe. Stay warm. It's actually kind of nice today. It's in the 60s. I'm wearing a t-shirt in case you guys didn't notice. Um, but, you know, be safe. Drive safe. There's going to be a lot of people on the road today, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, and I will see you guys tonight. Later.